Vietnam and now we're going to Phnom Penh, the capital city of Cambodia. So we made it into Phnom Penh last night. Uh, right now we're in a tuk tuk, we're on our way to get some food and then go to the killing fields. So 16 kilometers out of town, we're at the killing fields. The Chong Ek Genocidal Center. The Pol Pot, as many as 3 million Cambodians died out of 8 million. Wherever you come from, imagine if more than one out of every four people in your country was killed and by your own people. Over 20,000 people were murdered right here at Chung Ek. Yet this was only one of more than 300 killing fields throughout the country. Pol Pot's paranoia grew. As many as 300 prisoners were killed here in a single day. The Khmer Rouge picked Chung Ek for its execution grounds, partly because it was out of the way, and partly because it was already a graveyard used by local Chinese people. Sometimes, victims were not actually there. When they were pushed into the pits that served as graves, BDT spread the bodies finished the job. Those ridges are so hard and sharp that at Chung Ek they were sometimes used to slit prisoners' throats. When a person's throat is cut, he or she cannot shout or make a The Khmer Rouge did not shoot people here. Bullets were expensive. Victims knelt in front of pits that would soon be their graves. Then they were beaten and hacked to death. Soldiers who lay here had been decapitated, perhaps as an example to their comrades, according to the Khmeru's accusations of Vietnamese head Cambodian body. It is said they gave outsiders the impressions of a Khmer Rouge meeting. In fact, the music was to drown out the screams of people being murdered. <laughs> you walk, look down. You'll see the terrible truth in the fragments of bone and cloth at your feet. Most of the women who were pushed into this pit had been stripped off their clothes. It is said that some of the buried women had been raped as well. But there was worse to come. Babies died here too. Many were killed before their mother's eyes. Do you see that big tree nearby? It is called the killing tree. Soldiers grabbed babies by their legs smashed their heads against it, then tossed them into the pit. Here, brain and blood stains all over the tree. <laughs> when Pol Pot was finally overthrown, he fled with what was left of the Khmer Rouge to the Thai border. This magnificent memorial stupa was built by the government of Cambodia in 1988, in memory of those who died here at Chukai. Before that, their remains had been housed in a temporary shelter. 